Hi, everyone. You're about to meet eight amazing people supported by HRC in New York City. They've really progressed over the past year, a really, really challenging year for everyone. You're going to hear their achievements, their challenges, their stamina, their willingness to really push themselves to be even better. Let's learn more. Family and Clinical Services, Edgar Gomez. Edgar Gomez has been a valued member of AHRC NYC's Grand Concourse Clinic Office Team since 2007, when he began working there through AHRC's Hudson River Services. Until the pandemic, Edgar kept the clinic neat and clean, had a wonderful relationship with the clinical staff, and respected everyone coming in and going out. When the pandemic slowed clinic operations, he began working elsewhere, but he aspires to return once the clinic fully reopens. Edgar is courteous, respectful, reliable, and unfaltering. The staff can't wait to hear him being buzzed in every afternoon at 4 p.m. sharp. Congratulations, Edgar. Let's get together and um, give a call out to Edgar and give him a huge congratulations on um, this award from Family and Clinical Services. Edgar has done an amazing job for all of us at Grand Concourse, and we really appreciate all of his efforts. I want to say thank you for all the staff that I've been working for this company for almost 40 years. Individualized Support Services, Helen Samuels. Helen Samuels is a prolific writer, an optimist, a woman of faith, and a determined activist. She has faced many struggles, but has never given up nor failed to share the lessons she learned to help her peers. Helen is known for her poetry. She shares her writing with her new roommates at the 95th Street residence, at events with the community and her friends at program, leading in poetry writing sessions. The past year has shown how we all of us deal with adversity. Helen responded becoming more involved in advocacy and the fight for civil rights. She has led a series of discussion groups about current events and she is helping AHRC honor its commitments to diversity. Helen really cares about everyone around her, whether they're her peers, staff at home and at program, her community, or the four-legged friends she volunteers with. Helen's next challenge will be finding a paid job where she can put that experience to work. Congratulations, Helen. I wanna thank AHRC for the award that I'm receiving on the first. I wanna thank Pilar, Eddie, and Tanika for being my number one fans. I feel like if it wasn't for AHRC, that I wouldn't be the person that, that I am today. And all the support that people have given me, I really do appreciate it. And I want to congratulate those who are uh, being uh, awarded also. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all did your best this year. And I want y'all to keep growing and becoming better people. And when y'all grow, I grow. And when y'all support us, when y'all support, I support, and it just make us grow together. So I want to think about AHRC, especially my program, especially my program, and I'm very proud of everybody. Camping and recreation. Chris Ciani. Chris Ciani attended overnight camp at the Lodge in 2016 and 2017 and immediately felt at home. He enjoyed spending time with those he already knew while making new friends. Chris was always polite and thoughtful, offering his help to both staff and peers. During hotel respite trips, Chris proved to be a great leader and a wonderful friend who dedicated himself wholeheartedly to each trip. Chris spent time studying the activity schedule, researched available attractions, and shared his ideas with staff members and peers to make sure everyone had a great experience. He was always ready to have fun and to offer his help but it is in the last year that Chris has truly come into his own. During the pandemic and our shift to virtual programs, he quickly took on the role of schedule manager. When a replacement bingo caller for the very popular virtual bingo game was needed, Chris declared an interest in running that program himself. Fast forward eight months and Chris is now the permanent leader in the virtual bingo sessions. His enthusiasm for the programs coupled with his kind and sharing manner with others makes him the right person for this year's award from Camping and Recreation. Congratulations, Chris. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Christopher Ciani, and I want, want to thank you for, 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 for the award.
Adult Day Service, Betty Pendler, New York League, Carolina Gaston. Carolina has always been fiercely independent in all she undertakes, including always using her communication device to participate in activities and to interact with everyone. Currently, Carolina participates in AHRC's virtual services every day. Tell me two words, the color and what it is. Blue Jay. Okay, good job. Participating remotely is particularly challenging for people who use communication devices. However, despite these challenges, Carolina's determination and perseverance has enabled her to always give an appropriate response, to participate in many activities, and even offer support to a peer who also uses a device. Carolina's social and communication skills during remote services has been remarkable, not only to staff and peers, but also to her mother. Carolina has persevered with joy through the challenges that is evident for all to see. Carolina clearly values having a voice that can be heard and we value hearing her. Congratulations, Carolina. Residential Services, Kensington IRA, Brian Brashad. Brian Brashad has always been an independent person who advocates for himself like no one else. Throughout the last year of the COVID-19 pandemic, Brian has continued working as a transporter for Staten Island University Hospital. When the pandemic first started, Brian was informed by the hospital that he was an essential employee and they would appreciate his continuing to work. Throughout the spring and summer of 2020, and for most of the last year, Brian rarely took a moment off taking pride in being able to help others. He was meticulous about his PPE use and when the time came, he made his own appointment to get his COVID vaccinations at the hospital. Brian is a graduate of the Melissa Riggio College Program at the College of Staten Island, and he's recently decided that he would like to pursue an associate's degree at CSI. Brian dreams of getting his own apartment, leaving Staten Island to move upstate to Rockland County and getting his driver's license. He talks about living and working near the mountains and lakes that he often visits on weekends with his aunt and uncle. Brian has always been a go-getter, making things happen for himself. He has a very active social life and likes to spend time with his friends and family. Brian, go get it. Congratulations. My name is Brian Bouchard. I want to say uh, thank you for recognizing me. I work for the Standard University Hospital. I'm a transporter. I've been there for about five years. I like helping people. Now, this has been a difficult year a year of the pandemic. Oh, I have support. My sister and my group home. The house manager, Tracy. The system manager, Marissa. The job coach. And thank you. Education. James P. Murphy, Staten Island Prep. John Recuglia. In spite of the pandemic and acclimating to a new school, John has made enormous progress at school this year. He has been cooperative and engaged in all his academic studies, improving his reading skills and working on his writing skills from composing a single paragraph to multiple paragraphs. John has also made strides in math, completing one math unit and moving to the next level successfully. John can now express his feelings, something he had great difficulty doing before. He also has found helpful ways to calm himself when he is feeling anxious. John can now ask for help, say no when necessary, or ask to leave the room. He is now ready to accept last minute changes to his daily schedule and is open to feedback from his teachers. John has said that he very much wants friends, so he is now working on socializing with peers. We are very proud of John's growth as a student, a person, and friend, we look forward to even more growth. Congratulations, John. Hi, my name is Shama Kubia. I am a student of James Murphy Stein Island Prep. Thank you so much for this award. Home care, Elisa Huberman. Elisa Huberman is a passionate writer. She has already published a children's book and is planning to publish some stories. In addition, Elisa is learning to sew creating stuffed animals that represent characters from her stories. Elisa's positive attitude and dedication to her writing and achieving her goals is why we are nominating her for this annual award. In her own words, it all started when I was in my teens in the mid to late 2000s. 
I love to write and illustrate stories about my own fantasy stories, sci-fi stories, fairy tales, and childhood stories. The very first self-published book I wrote and illustrated was The Odd Duckling, which symbolized autism awareness and also the upside down giraffe, which shows how some people who behave strangely have their own way of thinking. Elisa has also been working on changing other areas of her life. Despite the pandemic and restrictions on where she could go, Elisa spent hours walking around the community and hence lost about 10 pounds. Congratulations, Elisa. Thank you to the AHRC and to the people who serve me, including um, my mentors and my teachers and my close friends from Pure Vision Arts, Pam Rogers, Brian and Yara Boro, Crafty Sapkota and Natu Pearl Henderson. Thank you to my friends from home, Ron Turner, Jake Waltuck, and McIntyre. And thank you to my mom, dad, sister, and my distant relatives, including my godmom, Key McFarland. Thank you so much. Employment and Business Services, Dennis Ferguson Thompson. Dennis came to AHRC through our Project Search program at Staten Island University Hospital in September 2019, when hospital managers told AHRC staff that Dennis's work positively impacted the hospital. While he was attending the Project Search program full-time weekdays, he also worked on weekends and evenings at a different job to help support his family. Dennis was not only a star intern, he was also a devoted family member. The Project Search in-person program halted abruptly at the outset of COVID in March 2020, but Dennis continued the program virtually, graduating in May 2020. The pandemic did not stop him. He was determined to work. Dennis applied for an opportunity with AHRC's Hudson River Services and was placed on the contract with Fort Totten. Considered an essential worker in the earliest months of the pandemic, he traveled from Staten Island to the border of Queens, Bronx, every day to work disinfecting and sanitizing all surfaces at Fort Totten. When a job opportunity opened at the Staten Island Ferry Terminal, he was transferred there, tasked with keeping the ferry terminal clean, disinfected, and safe for all riders. Throughout the pandemic, Dennis performed these important tasks diligently. He truly exemplifies the best in work skills and ethics. He is helpful, resourceful, and happy to offer assistance no matter the task. Dennis is truly an exemplary worker deserving of this award. Congratulations, Dennis. My name is Dennis Ferguson. Um, I work at the ferry. Um, I clean the men's bathroom. And I want to thank Miss Mary, Miss Alina, Jason, and Josh for congratulating me on this um on this promotion. Um y'all great to me. Um like y'all made me be who, who I am today. Thank y'all for that and have a good one. I know you enjoyed those amazing stories as much as I did. So inspirational and really emblematic of the kind of work that's done every day here at HRC New York City. The, the people that you heard about and saw today achieve things they want to achieve in their lives. They do it with support from us, but no more than they need. Their capacity to achieve and to do things in life that they feel are important to them um, is amazing. And we can't forget that. We are here to do actually as little as possible to keep people in the world engaged, included, and being productive members of society. So i um, so inspired by what I saw today. I hope you are as well. I'm sure you are. I want to also thank uh, Mary Krasner for um, um, chairing our annual meeting committee this year. Great job, Mary. And thank you for reading uh, those inspirational stories. We really do uh, appreciate your time and focus on that. Um, so as we move into another year, let's remember that we are now going to be doing the same work progressing lives in positive ways, um, helping us get out of the pandemic, um, seeing opportunity wherever we can and opening up those doors. So thanks to everyone that helped uh, uh, this amazing storytelling happen today. And we look forward to hearing and seeing many more stories in the months and years ahead. Thank you.